Hello everyone, it's me and uh, today I'm cleaning out this PlayStation because it's kind of nasty and it has this thing under the screen. It works, but I'm cleaning the chassis all of it. You guys want to know what, what the previous owner did to this dingus? And it's white, so it's very visible. And Someone's been in here. Okay, die. Okay, so we can remove the battery. It's kind of. Hey, look, someone's been in here already. Remove the. Add in this later. So the disassembly was a little bit more complicated than I expected since I'm kinda used to disassembling Nintendo DS's which is which aren't exactly that much complicated. Just the board and the cables for the screen. It's not this mess. Also a screw was rusted that and that was Hella difficult to remove. So instead, I chose to just not put it back in and disassemble the state. Okay, it even involved WD 40 for its removal. And that was a pain. Removing the screen was also a pain because it caught on something and uh, yeah, it took me a while to remove it. As you can see right now, but I removed it at the end of course. And then the ribbon cables for the drive because I actually followed an iFix guy, two of them. And so, shout out to those guys, I guess. And yeah, the drive door was a little bit complicated because I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. The opening mechanism was kind of. Hard to get rid of. What do they mean by pinch? I have no idea. But I got it off, and, and the rest was fairly easy. As those, well, basically, the worst part was unsticking the button the things. Otherwise, it was pretty easy. And the way we're gonna clean it is uh, to take all the parts and dump them into a soapy bowl. Okay, see you later because this is kind of boring, I guess. Okay, so now that, okay, so now that I cleaned the chassis and uh, dried it, it see it's pretty clean. No dirt in this in the crevices and stuff. Now well, let's get re reassembling. That's gonna be pain. Again. Now on the reassembly, well, that metal shield that was meant there, I kind of ignored that for a while. Because it was kind of annoying to put it back and I don't know which way it should go back. But I eventually made it. By Putting on the motherboard first and then removing it just a second later to put it back on how it is. I, luckily it didn't damage the ribbon cable or something. And the other bad part was the start button which was stuck under the card reader area. So I had to remove the motherboard and the button bad stuff again. I did, I removed that part like three times when we assembly. It was kind of annoying, but it was pretty much smooth sailing since, I, since this is basically disassembly, but backwards. As you can see, I no longer struggle with the drive doors and stuff. Bam, 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 plug in, except I, I'm accidentally doing all of that off screen. So, yikes. Yeah, you see, I'm doing that again. That is 
the biggest mistake I have ever done. Not checking where the freaking start button was. And no, the start button is not attached to the home row or however that row is called. No, it's not. I don't know, it just was that way. And the disassembly process just kind of fell randomly on the screen. So, not my issue. But yeah. It was fairly easy to reassemble it since I already disassembled it and knew how to do it. 